Hey, welcome to the show. We are back. Twin Tiers <laughs> football tonight. Jenna Cottrell, Andy Balnowski with you. And tonight we start with a brand new field down in Southport. Can't get better than that. What a beautiful start to the season. Yeah, I know. If they had some pizza down there, be, be <laughs> pizza I think they did, actually. You can't go but, wrong with yeah, that. <laughs> you just can. But Notre Dame hosting Oxford, hoping to bring in a W for that new stadium. Packed house tonight, witnessing history. Late second quarter, Oxford on the drive. Nick Near pounding out the yards, and that would set up this Angelo Gonzalez going Juan Gonzalez on everybody <laughs> drops back looking downfield and connects Whoa. Kevin Davis hauling it in a 17 yard touchdown and when things don't go your way yeah things like this are going to happen it's a blocked punt Oxford recovering they are back in business Notre Dame and we get a stop off the turnover, but it would not be enough Oxford trumping all tonight they win it 29 to 12. Well, another new field with a video scoreboard, Harpersville Afton at Waverly, Peyton Miller driving that NASCAR offense of the Wolverines, hitting Josh Mastruano in the corner, touchdown 7-0. Back come the Hornets, though. Devin Dean, play action in spots. Dylan Smith for the score, cuts it to just a one-point game, but too much for Miller and company tonight. His Matt Serrano again for a score. All Wolverines on this one, 55-12. Well, how about that walk down from the stands? That was awesome. That is a nice stadium. Wow, so is this. Look at that. Is that candy? Yeah, it's the jug <laughs> game. They're throwing candy out. Spencer Burnett versus Kander tonight. And SVE on the drive. Joe Judge, that's his name, <laughs> laying the gavel down on this run after the catch. Wouldn't lead to anything for the Panthers, though. This would. Kander's Devin Hills picks up the Spencer fumble. Oh. Indians in business. Look at that. And that, oh, yeah. That would lead to this. Not the Kool-Aid man, but this. The cameraman gets a little lost, but Dylan Bean isn't hard to miss when he breaks free. Look at this. Emerging from the smoke, emerging from the cocoon. Making an entrance. Kander, yeah, he really is. Kander wins 28-16. to They take the jug home for the first time in years. Jenna, let's drink some milk out of it. Chocolate milk? Yeah. Okay, we can do that. <laughs> Over to Shenango Valley at Ithaca now. Start of the second quarter, Little Red down 26-6, but not for long. The handoff, and yeah, say bye-bye. Anthony Henry, the junior, turning the corner, and he is gone. The 60-yard sprint. Now it's time for the defense, and that they did. They were stepping up. Ithaca recovers the fumble there later on. The momentum beginning to shift in Little Red Country. Turner De Palma just rips apart CV's defense on this one. Look at the speed. He would not be Ooh. stopped. The extra point on this one, good, but Ithaca's comeback coming up short as a Little Red ball, 39-25. Must have been too much bows, you know, had to have been <laughs> the night down. before, you know. It's a lot of that uh, queso, you know. The Bobcats at Lansing get Groton. Mark's Pizza's up there. We love that. First quarter, Bobcats <laughs> off and running. The camera, yeah, catching up to Max Jordan, going Mad Max and Air Jordan all in one. 15 Ooh. yards for the touchdown. Bobcats up 6 nothing. Still with the first. Groton punting it back to the Bobcats. This one goes right through the hands of Tim Kelly. Huh. But don't worry. Prime time. Prime time. He makes up for it. The rhythm of the night. Over 40 yards on that one. That was pretty funny. A lot of singing and uh, food in this That song. was awful <laughs> singing by me. I, I try. You hey, know, you know I, what? I quit choir, but okay. I'm here now. Let's set up this. Count it. Touchdown. Lansing going beast mode. They take it 34 to nothing in a fashion slaughter. Woo. Ken at Sarah now first quarter, no score, and Noah Barrett is off and running for the Warriors. A huge game. Look at this here on the drive, but the play would actually stall out. Sarah responds in a big way, though. Michael Ward, look at this big man rumble <laughs> and drive a truck through that gap there. 54 yards later, the Redskins are deep inside Canton territory. And Sarah was not done. Tyler Bells, they be chiming. He rumbles <laughs> in for the touchdown, but the Warriors go ultimate warrior. Yes. They win 18-7 <laughs> in the comeback. I love the ultimate warrior. God rest his soul. <laughs> he is a great, great competitor. How about <laughs> Muncie at Wellsboro eating a little snacks there? Hornets down to a big 24-0 lead, but Muncie not going out without a fight. Cameron Good, he is good. Perfect Huge action. return. <laughs> it's perfect, actually. Huge return near midfield, but that drive would go nowhere. Wellsboro coming right back. Levi Mack, that's a football name. Mack trucking it into Muncie's zone. Then Mike Petropola and a baby right there. 
hanging out, making it look easy. Bombs away for Nick Marple, and it's airtime for the touchdown. They cruise 31 0 and get this, Jenna, two shutouts in as many weeks. They've outscored the competition 79 to nothing. Whoa, some big stuff there. Well, out of town scores now to Wanda Falls to South Williamsport 42 0, and Hughesville all over Athens 42 7. Well, moving on, Troy blows up Kalineski Valley 61 to 6, and then there's this score. Yeah, your, your eyes aren't deceiving you. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying it. 74 to wow. nothing. North Penn Mansfield crushing Bucktail Slaughter. Oh my goodness. Well, Hornell also taking care of Daniel 10-6 to start off the year with a win on that, while Bath breaks Waterloo 47-15. Yeah, the, the, some of those scores just absolute blowouts tonight, Jenna. And uh, wow. the season is finally here, and the there's nothing back. like this game. Well, yeah, Andy, you know, all the teams back in action, Pennsylvania, New York. We caught up with them to see what they love most about the game. It's like the movie and the TV show, Friday Night Lights, man. That's what it's all about. I love the hitting, just coming out here and... You know, just letting it all let loose and, you know, just getting after it. Hitting. Um, defense is my favorite part of the ball. Defense wins championships. The favorite part of high school football is just the relationship you build with kids. Uh, you know, the role that we have as coaches and, and uh, watching them develop. Oh, I, lo I love making contact. I love hitting people on the field and I just, I just love the sport. You've got your uh, pretty boy backs and, uh, you know, you got a lot of different personalities out here. You know, when you're coaching 35 kids, um, a lot of different personalities show. You build all sorts of different relationships with them, whether it be in the classroom, on the field, in the locker room. Um, you know, I just think that's my favorite part, is you get to know these kids on different levels. Just to see them develop, even after school, and years after that, they come back and see you. Yeah, I like the bond with, it's like a family kind of thing. It's like, well, you're with your teammates, and we have this bond, like we have team dinners and all this, and we are together. The wins and losses are important, but really it's the memories you create with the kids and the bond. I like cracking people. I hit hard, you know, and I like all the, like the teammates and everything. It's like a brotherhood. Playing at home, uh, playing on defense, uh, pretty much played it in front of a home crowd. Definitely favorite thing is cracking skulls. I mean, first day of hitting is all out for me. I mean, there's nothing better than just hitting. 